So, what's up mga kadriben? Good day everyone. I am Midshipman Padrid Jan Christopher Y from BSM TNM 6B2. So, for today's video, uh, I will discuss to you and demonstrate to you the uh, procedure in conducting mooring operation followed by the PPE or the uh, proper usage of safety equipment on board the vessel, the uh, personal protective equipment in relation with the uh, COSWP or what we call the uh, Code of Safe Working Practices for Merchant Seafarer. And then, need to do prior uh, mooring operation and then those and don'ts when undergoing this kind of operation and also the risk assessment, the checklist and also the uh, safety toolbox meeting. So first, uh, before we go further on the discussion that I uh, was saying, so let's define what is mooring operation. So mooring operation is one of the most important tasks that seafarers have to perform on ship's deck. Technically, the operation may seem simple, but there are several dangers that is associated with it. So uh, when it comes to mooring arrangement, uh, mooring equipment, and weather conditions, differ from port to port. At careful, pre-planning has been taken place before mooring operation is therefore essential. So, in a typical situation, me as the captain uh, receives a message at sea that the next uh, port control has been revised. So, pre-planning starts at this stage. Okay? So, the navigating officer starts gathering information about the uh, Port publications like Guide to Port Entry, which uh, provides accurate and comprehensive information laid out in a logical sequence. And then, uh, on the other hand, the uh, sailing directions, which are after the uh, pilot, which assists the navigating officer in providing the valuable information about sea. And also, after the uh, sailing directions, uh, we're going to the uh, company's risk assessment procedure wherein uh, utilizes about uh, ensuring the safety of crew. Also, the uh, let's be attentive and during all the tasks that uh, we're going to execute, let's be mindful and let's be aware to the things that uh, we're going to do because mooring operation is one of the most hazard, potential hazard, uh, should I say. So, me, the captain, calls a pre-arrival meeting and discusses the mooring plan with ship officer. So, including the uh, port specific information and the uh, general all available means of the vessel. So, risk assessment of mooring operation should be completed at regular intervals to ensure the safety of personnel. So, as the vessel near the port, all bridge and engine control are properly checked as per the pre-arrival checklist. So this is the example of pre-arrival or departure checklist. So as you can see on this checklist, we have the general information. First, we have the validity. So to be carried out not more than 6 hours before arrival and 2 hours before departure. And as you can see this, we have the name of the port, the date of arrival and departure. So, for example, the name of the port is Gibraltar Port. And uh, below the general information, we have the specific information that uh, you may check if this is uh, uh, inappropriate working condition. So, like steering gear tested as per checklist and communication with engine room box system forward up and also the uh, engine room tested and we have the uh, bridge and engine room clock synchronized so uh, you may uh, check if the uh, said uh, av available means is on appropriate working conditions or functional on deck the wind glass and mooring winches are tried out the brake is uh, tested and also the all communication systems are tested and properly working. When a pilot is on board, mooring operation is discussed and agreed with him before the vessel arrives at birth. Officer in charge of mooring must clearly understand the mooring plan and all the possible preparations when it comes to birth.
when it comes to mooring pattern there's a lot of things uh, that we have to consider that uh, we are able to cope up with the environmental forces from any direction so it can achieve this by splitting the forces from uh, into transverse from fore and up components and also placing uh, the mooring lines asymmetrically from the midship line of the vessel so let's proceed in proper usage of safety equipment which is the uh, PPE or what we call the personal protective equipment in relation with the COSWP or what we call the code of safe working practices for merchant seafarer so before undergoing the mooring and unmooring operation he or she must wear coverall so this is the example of what we call the uh, coverall on board the vessel uh, when we are undergoing the said operation so this is designed to reduce the stable uh, reduce the possibility of being harmed by the ropes and also uh, the impact of hazards when we are undergoing that kind of mooring operation and we have safety helmet okay so as you can see it has the adjusting adjusting um, here and uh, this safety helmet is designed uh, to protect our head from ropes as well when we are undergoing that kind of operation so safety helmet is one of the most important equipment because this is to prevent also the uh, uh, falling debris, the impact of hazard, and also the biohazards when we are working with our subordinates. And also, we have the safety glasses. So here, so safety glasses is intended and, and uh, designed to uh, protect our, our eye also from the uh, falling debris and also for the uh, impact of the ropes when we are going to attempt. Okay? And also, we have safety shoes. So, safety shoes is uh, designed to prevent for the uh, puncture and also for the uh, falling object or ropes or attempting the ropes to uh, hit. Something like that. And we have the safety gloves. So, safety gloves is designed to keep our hand, our hand safe in abrasion and also for the uh, biohazards as well and for the attempting the rope to pull or uh, working with the windlass or winches and also we have the kind of mooring ropes that uses on board the vessel so this is an example and we have the uh, BHF so it is the uh, DIY okay DIY walkie talkie so one of the most important when we are undergoing the mooring operation let's have a uh, communication with other to prevent uh, to prevent the injury or illness when we are on board the vessel and if you need an immediate assistance use this to call with your camaraderie on board a vessel so let's proceed in dos and don'ts when we are conducting mooring and unmooring operation so first um do wear correct personal protective equipment number two do correct ropes number three do visually inspected the ropes and also do report defects about rope and we have also uh, don't uh, don't do when we are conducting the mooring operation don't stand in bites okay never stand in snapback zone so don't do that because snapback zone is one of the most uh, potential hazard when it comes to mooring operation and also don't sleep when we are conducting operation and also uh, don't attempt to uh, touch the uh, mooring glass when it's on working okay so I hope that uh, you learned or you have something knowledge or you gain something knowledge from me that uh, I was discussed earlier and also if you have the uh, further information let's uh, watch on the uh, youtube with due regards uh, to that kind of operation so thank you again everyone for watching